guys. Good afternoon, Arlen here. So, I'm back. So, yesterday I was not able to make a vlog because I was not really feeling well. So, today I'm feeling a little bit much better. So, that's why I was able to drive to the market area in Padre Garcia to get some uh, ducks, pellet for the ducks. And I have here uh, something for, for me. So, I, I bought this. Uh, I have to sit down. Okay. So it's much easier. So I was able to get tofu. So I have six pieces of tofu, or we call it tokwa in Filipino in Tagalog, for uh, 40 pesos. So it's uh, three pieces for 20 pesos, right? So I have to put it in the fridge because um, it should be cold. Because it should be cold, and when it's cold, I will actually fry them. I will cut them into one, one, one piece. I will cut them into three, and then I will fry them in very good oil, sunflower oil, and then it's already good for lunch or dinner. I also bought uh, organic uh, bananas, so we call it locally like Tordan. So this is organic because it's uh, grown by farmers here in the area and uh, they cut it when it's really mature so it will taste really sweet and they are not using any form of um, uh, chemicals or something like that to, to ripe you know so they are just letting bananas ripe naturally maybe they will put uh, some leaves of madri cacao but those are leaves you know so it will not affect the taste or whatsoever so i got this for 60 pesos so it's a little bit expensive normally you get it by 40 or 45 50 pesos but for me it's okay because this is organic right and then aside from bananas i got a, a rambutan so again guys this is organic because uh, it's grown locally by uh, you know the people around here i just got it from uh, from one of the neighbors who are selling it uh, by their garden you know so the backyard so they are not putting any fertilizers so rambutan is in season that's why i'm able to get it although it's a little bit expensive you know because it's coming out of season last time i was able to get 30 pesos a kilo but this one i get for 50 pesos a kilo so not bad you know it can last for i know three four days i'm not eating so much of it because um it's very sweet so the sugar content is very high so normally um uh when you have a high cholesterol or something like that you have to prevent too much eating too much sugar in my case it's it's okay because i don't have that but uh, too much of everything is not good right and lastly i got a sweet potato it's again organic so it's not very big so you can see so the farmers are not putting any fertilizers on it so just uh, locally i got it one kilo for 60 pesos so that's already a lot so i think i can have it for one week or you know i'm not eating so much of it like one day one piece something like that so hopefully it can i will try to find how can i store it and then <coughs> it can be good for two weeks okay so i'm not feeling uh, 100 percent good but still i'm um, i'm okay compared to yesterday that i was really uh on bed for like i think 10 hours or so because i wasn't really feeling well i was coughing a lot my nose was really blocked and then i have to uh, you know to yeah i have something running on my nose so today it's getting better i don't have any headache i don't have slight fever or something so it's good so um, how about you guys are you getting sick nowadays so today actually i was reading a lot about dengue you know so because i was like you know i have slight fever i have uh, i was coughing uh, my nose is running i have a little bit back pain and i was like thinking oh maybe because we live in a farm in a rural area 
then most probably I was bitten by dengue, by, by mosquitoes, right? So uh, today in the morning I was walking around, I was checking whether we have this, um, you know, this uh, water, stagnant water, which actually mosquitoes can breed and multiply, but we don't have, uh, I'm very happy about it. So yeah, because, um, you know, dengue is uh, really uh, getting an epidemic here in Lipa City. I heard that um, a lot, uh, not a lot, but uh, like five, six people already died from dengue, you know. So I don't want to be one of them because there's no really uh, direct cure for dengue. By the way, guys, I'm not here to talk about dengue, right? It's, it's you know, it's topic for me. Uh, I want to have something... Um, uh, lively to talk about okay so I was like thinking um, age gap in age gap uh, relationship right you as you know I am 38 years old my husband is 52 years old so we have an age gap of 14 years so 14 years you will say oh how can she deal with it 14 years that's really a lot of time so you can imagine when he is already 14 years old and he's a young boy, a young teenager, and I'm just uh, newly born, right? So I, actually, I'm now thinking about it the last few days and I was like, oh my God, yeah, he's really old, you know? So he, he's already had, had his first girlfriend when he was 14, or I don't know, 14, 16 years old. And then I was just like only two years old, right? And just uh, walking and talking a little bit, you know? But he's already had, already he's uh, starting his uh, life experiences as exploring and uh, checking out the world, you know, quote and quote. So yeah, you know, how we are dealing with it? That is the question, right? So actually, I met him when I was 31 years old, and during that time he was 45 years old. So he was a uh, he was uh, uh, separated from his uh, ex-wife. Uh, he already filed for divorce, but in Germany it will take one year before the divorce the divorce was finalized. So during that time he is uh, still waiting, you know. But before me, he already had a girlfriend when he was working. So. It's, it's not like, you know, I, I, I took her or I took him from his ex-wife. It's nothing like that. So, when I realized, okay, the age gap is 14 years, so how I'm gonna deal with it, right? So, normally for me, it's just like, okay, I, I basically, I know based on my experience that I love talking to old people. It's not, uh, I'm not talking old old but you know like uh, yeah uh, like 10 years my senior or 15 years my senior I even have very good relationship with my teacher uh, she was uh, or she is because she's still very much alive she is uh, retired now but uh, she was my teacher when I was in elementary and she she happened to be one of my co-teachers when I was teaching in public school see and then when she retired i was uh, always visiting her except when i was going overseas then i lost contact with her and then when i came back finally to settle goods uh, finally good in the philippines then yeah i was reconnected to her so i don't really have a problem talking to not really old but more mature people than me you know, I, I even have a very good relationship as well with another teacher and she happened to be one of my teachers and now she is like 92 years old. So really, I, I don't have problem with that. So for me, it's just like I was really looking for somebody who can love me and who can accept my flaws and my temper and as well who can accept my son because, uh, you know, it's a whole package. It's me and my son. So I, I, I am not looking for somebody who will look after my family, you know, who will look after my mother or my two sisters, my niece and my nephew, no. But especially it's me, you know, I can, I can help my family, but um, I'm not asking that person to, to you know, to, to support my whole family. No, not, not like that. So 
when I found out that he has, uh, he is 50, he was 52 years, uh, 52, he was 45 years old during the time, and I was calculating the age gap, and I was like thinking, okay, I'm 31, and he is 45, so that is 14 years, and then I can deal with it, and then finally, when we were talking on Skype, and uh, yeah, for weeks, and then he was coming to Bangkok to finally meet me and then we we sort of live together for three weeks and then I can say okay I I get him you know I, I can I can I can get along with him you know it's not like it's uh, it's really I pushed it but uh, yeah we like uh, we, we like or I, I I love him and he loves me and um, I think that helped really work out the relationship of course we had some struggles but it was just in the beginning when things were not sorted out but now it's all good you know so i don't just to clarify i don't see him as a father figure no it's not like that um, i lost my father when i was nine years old uh, because he he died but it's not I'm looking for a father figure I cannot imagine that I, I will be in love with my father you know I of course I love my father because he's my father but not like I will live with him right so no nothing like that for me it's just like okay uh, I want my my partner or husband to be which who is uh, older than me is a patient who can understand and accept me for who I am and then there comes Oliver you know but it's not like no I cannot really say age gap is was was not really an issue for me to other people when they found out about it they were uh, batting an eyelid you know and they say oh yeah you had a 14 years age gap that's weird you know he is a uh, older than you and then finally when they saw him and they say oh he doesn't look uh, old for his age actually he looked very handsome so of course I was happy about this comment right so really for me it's it's not an issue this 14 year age gap and actually I think for him it's also not a problem because his parents had like a 16 years age gap so for him it's it's okay he he knows about it right and for me actually i was checking on my family history on my maternal and paternal grand side so on my maternal side my grandparents had the 10 years age gap so uh, grandfather was 10 years older than my grandmother and on my paternal grand side that was huge uh, my grandfather was 16 years older than my grandmother that's why he was the one doing the household chores I, I remember this you know when we were visiting them because we are just living in the same barangay but it has like uh, 300 meters away you know and um, we were kids I was like uh, the the first memory I can remember I was like four or five years old that uh, my grandfather was the one who was uh, cooking cooking the rice and he was the one cooking uh, uh, the vegetables and the fish and I was like oh I thought uh, you know uh, females or mothers are the ones supposedly doing that you know and then all those years that I, I've known them it's it was always my grandfather who's mostly doing the household chores and even washing going to the market you know and and then i spoke to my mother about it and yeah she confirmed that they had like 16 years age gap so you know uh, he loved very much my grandmother and so he was very much happy to do the household chores just to please her so i said oh okay uh, uh, to my grandparents' side, maternal, I didn't know so much about it because uh, my grandfather died uh, when my mother was still uh, a young lady, so uh, I, I don't know how it works, but um, I think generally my grandmother was okay with it, you know, and uh, but she was really quite independent, so it was good. But finally, it all comes boiled down to me. Um, age gap, we are in an age gap relationship. So 
it's it's 14 years and um, I had no problem with it actually uh, I know um, there are some things I have to compromise and he has as well to compromise but at the end of the day as long as we under understand trust and love each other there will be no problem and um, yeah I don't really see it as a problem you know and actually a lot of people were always asking me like oh Arlene how old are you and I said yeah 38 and they will always say yeah you, it's time for you to have a baby you know and I was like thinking yeah and thinking about it actually thank you very much but no you know I'm not thinking like I'm already 38 years old and with the age of 14 years when we will have a baby then you know Oliver most probably will be like um, how can I say when he will be 60 then I will uh, yeah 60 and then we will have get a baby and then next year the baby will be like seven years old when he turns 60 so you know you you are already a senior citizen and you have to take care of a seven-year-old kid so that is too much for me to handle and with all the issue about health and um, and uh, how can I say this you know you are not sure whether you have to stay good in the Philippines or you have to settle in Germany I, I don't think it's uh, it's fair enough that you or we will raise a kid and um, but it, it has nothing to do actually yeah because we we are happy being on our own and and I'm happy that my son is grown up he's uh, 15 years old just a few days ago and um, I'm happy that he's uh, you know he's, uh, he's a teenager and soon he will be off to college so that will uh, give us some time to really enjoy the the remaining days that we are still young you know so basically it's okay and um, when a lot of people ask about our age and uh, they ask me about about this age gap and i say look guys i am happy he is happy so i don't see any problem with that and uh, basically when my friends are asking about it and i said look if you are not uh, okay with this uh, age gap relationship you don't have to worry you know because uh, you are not in my shoes thank you so much for worrying but at the end of the day what's most important is we are happy and we are together you know um, I think I, I live long enough to see that uh, what other people think about it it's not important you know you know um, during my first marriage um, my ex-husband is like one year older than me so but a lot of people were always telling me oh you have to do this you have to do that and blah 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 and as as well i know that he was so much into listening to his relatives so somehow that uh, that brought all the disasters in our marital life because uh, you are listening and i was a little bit listening and then when people are talking and we are being brainwashed by all the facts from outside and not really talking about it then there comes the problem right so now i think now i'm mature enough to say no guys this is my life so i am dealing with my life thank you for your suggestion i will uh, i will look into it but at the end of the day it will be my decision and and my decision will definitely affect my life you know so it, it's not somebody else decision it will be my decision or it's not an opinion that coming from somebody because at the end of the day i will be the one living with him not you guys you know so uh, of course that uh, uh, a few of my friends uh, don't like what i'm saying so they they are not so so much into saying that anymore but uh, yeah basically life is what you make it life is uh, what what we are making so it's either it's either you listen to other people or you listen to your instincts and trust your instincts and listen to your partner as well because at the end of the day it's just the two of you you know you know when you are fighting 
your friends cannot just suddenly come and support you you know so it's basically you and him together that's the most important and with this age gap of 14 years i can say that yeah he is quite far more understanding to me because he he knows and he sees uh, life differently and he he has been long already in a relationship he was married for 25 years before he was married to me or he is married to me so that I, I didn't say that you know he he is an expert or something but his experience brought so much you know that he can bring something into the relationship whereas I, I had only very little experience I have so yeah guys um, when you really love somebody um, you have to go for it but uh, trust your instinct and your gut this definitely will tell you whether that person is worthy of your love of your time and of your effort uh, age gap uh, ness is not really a big issue as long as um, the two of you are really understanding and trusting each other you know there was uh, I think I was um, <laughs> I was by the shopping mall that was several months ago and I, I saw this um, a foreigner he is uh, around 70 years old because uh, he's really old and then there's a Filipina I call he, her Pina because it is the short word and he is around uh, I think 25 28 years old and um, I know a little bit of this because um, I used to go to uh, Nailaholics, it's a nail spa salon and uh, you know, uh, ladies over there, they, you know, they, uh, they got some info because uh, when the ladies coming in, normally you share a little bit stories, you know, especially when you are a newcomer and then they said to me, Oh, Mom Arlene, are, are you aware that uh, yeah, the lady is a little bit younger and the man is a little bit older? And for me, it's just like, okay, they may have like an age gap of 42 years, right? So the the wife or the part, partner can be like a, already a daughter, right? Because of the age gap. Then I told them, look, as long as they are loving and understanding and trusting each other, it's not a, it's not one of, it's not our business, you know. They have their own lives, so we have to respect that. At the end of the day, as long as they're happy, then we should be happy for them, you know. And then they were like saying, oh, maybe it's about the money. I said, uh, maybe it's not all about the money. Of course, the money plays an imp important factor in their life because you see the the man is uh, already sick most probably because of old age but yeah the lady is there to support him so what's wrong with that right so at the end of the day you have to realize that uh, as long as two people are happy and uh, they don't mind about this age gap then i think it's okay you know it's not our business whatever they do with their lives uh, it's not our concern just like i'm telling this to other people about uh, my age gap but uh, now because we are, have been living here for six years so uh, i think they get used to it finally and they are always asking when my husband is coming and uh, as well in in my place in mom's house um, because they don't see Oliver that much but I think it's okay and even uh, actually my mom is only like I think mm, nine years older than Oliver you know so I was just like oh my god but yeah I, I don't I don't care so it's not so it's not important the most important is yeah check out three things do they really love each other do they trust each other and do they each and every one of them understand the consequences you know and then if they are okay with that you know who 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 am i to judge who are we to judge you know because that is their life
So, so, so that's it for today, guys. Um, how can I say? Uh, I hope I can shed uh, some light when it comes to this age gap relationship. So, you know, I, I don't have so many experiences to share, but I can only tell you about uh, my relationship with my husband and a little bit about my family. And um, how can I say this? What matters at the end of the day is that we respect each other's right? So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope tomorrow I will be much better. I will feel much better. And um, I hope that um, maybe you can learn something out of my life experiences, you know, especially those who are in uh, uh, having a relationship with a foreigner or having a relationship with a Filipino who is uh, a little bit older than her or him. So thank you so much guys for watching my videos and for subscribing my videos. For those who have not been subscribing, please guys, please subscribe. It will definitely help a lot. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to write comments, you know, write your questions on the comment box. I am really checking every day because I want to answer if any questions you have, if, you know, if if it's, it's something that I can answer right but please don't uh, tell me about mathematics I'm not good at it <laughs> so thank you so much guys have a nice Sunday and I will see you tomorrow bye bye